This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits. And now I've got my chicken on. Now, I have a, a different tuning plate uh, style system that I'm trying out on this boss hog right now. The plates are a little bit longer, which gives them a higher profile up towards the meat rack. Um, now, the downside of that, you can't use a water pan but they're up close to the meat rack um, it gives a, a, a different temp operating temperature profile uh, where the smoker naturally wants to run a little bit hotter uh, like between 275 and 300 uh, depending on how much I have the air intake cracked open one other thing I wanted to point out is uh, the cabinet is up there in temperature as well a lot of people think that that a cabinet is just for warming. Well, it's not true. Uh, the way we have ours set up, they run at operating temperatures. Now, I'm wanting my smoker to run a little bit hot. A lot of guys want to run theirs around 230, 250 for a lot of meats. But like I said, we're cooking chicken today, whole chickens, and I like mine a little bit hotter. Uh, look, see how I got mine set up. I've got uh, baked potatoes in there, corn on the cob, sausage going, and chickens. Uh, and one piece of sausage needs to come off. Anyways, um, I got this loaded up pretty good. Uh, there's still more room, but you can fit quite a bit on this Boss Hog 2040, actually. Um, and I hadn't even been using the cabinet. Anyways, I just figured I would uh, go ahead and show you what I got going on there. And uh, I've got that low maintenance fire going with all the big logs. And, you know, it just runs right where I want it there with the with the whole chickens and, and that tuning plate set up. Um, I guess if you, uh, if you wanted yours to run hotter in that range, uh, talk to me about different tuning plate options. Again, this is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits, and this is my old Boss Hog smoker. And uh, we're running that low maintenance fire uh, where I don't have to add logs hardly at all. Probably won't have to the whole chicken cook.